Happy New Year, Safe Moon Army. It is Safe Moon Surge here yet again with another video for you all. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that you have all shown me. To all the new viewers, welcome to Safe Moon, the fastest growing crypto community on earth. And right before I get to the rest of the video, I do want to show you guys here on the website real quick. This added growth fund, which is 1%, is added to the Safe Moon ecosystem growth fund. And I will talk about that as well. But if we also come here and you're curious to see what exchanges we're actually on, I will come here and you could just come to the website, click on markets, and it will show you the whole list of exchanges that we are currently on and which ones actually offer tokenomics and which ones don't. So just keep that in mind whenever you guys are purchasing uh, safe moon and you can see the pair uh, when it was added and what country uh, these exchanges actually work for so with that being said make sure to come and like comment and share i would greatly appreciate it if you guys have not yet you guys can come here to safe moon and watch uh, safe moon operation phoenix reveal 2021 has over 73,000 views already. Uh, some of those views are mine, and some of the views obviously are the Safe Moon Army, and it's probably people who have multiply watched this video. It's six minutes and 23 seconds. It is very informative, and it really breaks down towards the end of it. Um, you guys will find out exactly what Safe Moon is doing. John Caroni talks really about Project Phoenix, uh, the wind. Uh, turbines, everything that goes into that, the technology that they're working on, the innovative technology. So it's very exciting and very informative, but I will kind of break it down from this great post that I found on Twitter. But uh, regardless though, let's take a quick look at BSC scan here. And we are currently at 364,014 addresses here. You can see that we've in the last couple days have added quite a bit of addresses. Hopefully we can get to 400,000 here soon. I think within the next week or two, we do know that the Bitmar buyback will happen in January. They have bought back all the other tokens that had been hacked from the hot wallet. Uh, Saitama has already been purchased back. I believe SHIB has as well. All these different communities have confirmed that the buyback has happened. But as far as for Safe Moon, the buyback has not happened yet. But apparently, it's going to happen here uh, in the next week or so. Hopefully, it's soon. Hopefully, it's within a couple days. But when it does, um, I'm very excited about it because if we look at the current price of Safe Moon V2 here, we are at two zeros, two five six. We had this beautiful run up, and a part of me thought maybe this was the buyback, possibly, um, but it is simply because of the migration and people actually buying in. Uh, so it looks like the Bitmar buyback will have to purchase most likely at the price that they purchase at. And so we have this bearish flag here. Um, if we zoom in just a little bit here. Um, we had a sell-off, and then we had this instant bounce back, and this is looking very, very bullish for Safe Moon. So when that buyback does happen, and we do get that exchange listing announcement from Safe Moon, which they said in January it's supposed to happen, we could see some serious volume coming in, some serious price movement, not financial advice, but buckle up i think within this first month or two of safe moon we are going to see some serious serious volume and price increase uh, with that being said let's head over to twitter here and let's talk about that growth fund that i showed you guys here on the website that they mentioned this was added the one percent let's talk about that real quick what is a growth growth fund uh, growth fund is a mutual fund invested mostly in companies with above average growth with the goal being capital appreciation rather than yield income and dividend payouts a growth fund is expected to appreciate more over the long term than the broad market deeper definition growth funds are meant for high growth businesses that reinvest their income in research development acquisitions and expansion most growth funds provide a higher potential for capital capital appreciation but at above ri average risk the high reward versus high risk strategy makes growth funds suitable for investors who are not planning to essentially invest in very traditional ways. Uh, one other thing is the Safe Moon Bank. Uh, we do know that according to John Caroni's video, they had applied for an EU license, and this is essentially what it is. So I'm going to kind of mostly talk about this 
part right here. Um, so Electronic Money License Europe or e-money license is a license issued by national financial regulators of the European Union. The license is a prerequisite for the issuance of electronic money subject to the situation when an entity has a full-fledged banking license. E-Money License Europe can be considered as an alternative to a banking license in the EU because it allows providing most of the day-to-day -day banking services. While it is much easier to become an electronic money institution in the EU than to become a fully licensed EU bank. Electronic money institutions cannot provide all the services that banks are allowed to provide. We do know that John Caroni talked about the Safe Moon card in his Operation Phoenix video, and so that should be coming in Q2, uh, according to John Caroni, so quarter two of this year. So that's very exciting. In order for us to actually have that card, it looks like we're most likely going to get the blockchain and then the exchange and then the card. So in order to have the card, we're going to get the exchange beforehand. So... The exchange was also announced that it would be released in Q2 of 2022 of this year. So, um, yeah, get very excited. This is going to be a very, very big year for SafeMoon, especially this first two quarters of this year. So from now into May, we're going to have some huge, huge news and some huge volume coming for SafeMoon and price movement. SafeMoon can now be tracked on Binance. If you guys take a look here, you can actually see it's Binance.com. Shout out to SafeMoon Warrior for posting this. Um, and it looks like the liquidity is migrated according to Don Bailey. The fully diluted, diluted market cap is showing on V2, 2.6 billion. So it looks like we're fully diluted and there's no more V1. So everything has been switched over. The liquidity has been switched over to V2. There is the billboard for the New York City billboard for SafeMoon. Um, and I'll show you guys here a video real quick. SafeMoon After Dark. If you guys haven't been on these spaces, I highly recommend it. Chris does a great job hosting these things and a lot of information on there. I'm on there pretty much as often as I can be. But this was pointed out. The coin is not listed on Binance for trade and service. John Caroni said there is a difference between a token and a coin. A lot of people are speculating, you know, we saw that Saitama was also, the price was showing up on Binance. Could Binance finally be listing some of these tokens? Possibly, but it is saying the coin, right? The coin, they're not considering it a coin because a coin needs its own blockchain. Um, I did post this. I asked, what did we miss? So Dave Smith, who is the videographer there at SafeMoon, who filmed uh, the Operation Phoenix or edited and possibly filmed it so he had said on this court all right kids i've been reading posts since we published a video and not one single person has seen the forest for the trees it's right in front of you lol anyway hope you all have a safe and happy new year's and don't forget to root for the utah Utes to beat ohio state in the rose bowl tomorrow um and then kind of some other stuff here on this court from both john crony and charles Someone has said, y'all are considering how to increase vertical turbine efficiency since they typically thrive in more turbulent environments. I'm excited about the efficiency from longer term testing. There are hints to what else we have in the works in the video. So definitely go watch the video. Uh, Gandalf, you guys have not given him a follow. Definitely check that out. I do want to show you guys this here right here. Um, so Tim Dillon, who is a comedian uh, with over 550,000 followers, Tweeted this out. He was also on Joe Rogan's podcast, practically pitching him the metaverse for a straight 45 minutes. Uh, New Year's 2024. President Jake Paul has lifted the quarantine. Spirits are high. The NFT of Biden's podium stroke has just sold for $2 million. Chick-fil-A is accepting safe moon. Elon Musk is launching a new mission to Mars despite not knowing where the last crew is. So, and then the Safe Moon Hound said, let's go Chick-fil-A. Yes, let's make it happen. Come on, the Safe Moon card would be out. You just swipe that bad boy or even just tap it, right? Or just scan it from your phone and pay for some Chick-fil-A. I think that is, I don't see why that's not doable, but here's kind of like a cool mock-up of what we could see um, with the Safe Moon card, probably be you know, powered up by either Visa or MasterCard, which we all know is trying to get into crypto. 
but I like how you if you zoom in here, you say your transactions make this should be Chick Fil A, um, and then you have the safe boon reflections, the amount that you've gotten that day, which will probably be a lot higher if you hold quite a bit of safe moon, and this portfolio would probably be a lot higher if you hold a good decent bag. But whatever bag amount you have, uh, you would have the amount there, and you'd see transactions, and I think this could be a simple way to bank for the unbank, right? Um, here is the uh, scan. You can see Safe Moon Army right there. And this was actually playing during the, I think, when Journey was playing Don't Stop Believing, which I thought was really cool. So we saw this as well. Um, and then Safe Moon Hound gave us this this morning. This is one thing I want to read here. Um, I think this is very, very crucial here. If you guys are still watching the video, I greatly appreciate it because this right here breaks down the video a lot. So Max here, um, 0x Maz, or Maz, my bad, Maz here, uh, shout out to him, but kind of gives us a breakdown. So Turbine, SafeMoon is developing an incredibly sophisticated infrastructure for peer-to-peer -peer energy transfer. Decentralizing energy is a very efficient means to enable poor nations to access electricity and modern amenities, which we all know. Um, but how does this all tie into Safe Moon? Well, the energy you generate, you know, if you had your own turbine, you generate can power your home. And if you generate an excess, you can sell it to a neighbor connected via microgrid for Safe Moon. Cool thing about Safe Moon tokenomics generating energy is generating tangible, transactable money. That compounds automatically over time. This is great for any everyone using SafeMoon as an increase in volume benefits every holder. The initial batch of turbines are being deployed in the Gambia, but what about the modern housing developments in other countries? What's to stop a housing development using SafeMoon turbines with a microgrid system to reduce pressure and reliance on traditional power grids? Everyone benefits from green energy and everyone benefits from transactions using SafeMoon. SafeMoon as a tech company has also demonstrated a real world application of innovation and in using nanoparticles to manipulate service angle and texture of turbine blades to maximize energy transfer and blade longevity. Um, more energy, more SafeMoon. The innovation doesn't end at specific venture, though I anticipate every product and service SafeMoon puts out will have an edge in some way. It might not always make sense and it may not always work, but without innovation and the industries get stale, SafeMoon will change that. Another innovation is the actual SafeMoon token. SafeMoon has, up, has an upgrade, upgradable smart contract, meaning any new tech or new partnerships they may want to onboard can use a fine-tuned set of functions in the SafeMoon code, adjustable whenever necessary. The SafeMoon blockchain will also likely also lean heavily into customizable and upgradable th side of things. The biggest and steepest hurdle for crypto blockchain projects is when the team involved want to make changes and have to completely overhaul the entire infrastructures. Look into e Ethereum 2.0 for some context. Yeah, so as we kind of go through the rest of this, um, and then he talks about the e-money regulation and everything else, but you guys can come and find this thread on my Twitter here. But here we have a video of Journey playing Don't Stop Believing at 11.45 p.m. I was trying to find a recording of this to be able to see the safe moon but if you guys saw it there in the beginning um there it is safe moon army so pretty awesome to see but absolutely love seeing this billboard right there in times square and keep in mind it's three times an hour for every hour for 365 days so <laughs> We're going to get quite a bit of marketing with that. And so with that being said, make sure to come follow me here on Twitter. I would greatly appreciate it. If you have not, make sure to come and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Like, comment, and share all these other videos. Come check out Safe Moon Tim, John Caroni, Safe Moon. They have their official YouTube page as well. But with that being said, I appreciate you all, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.